James Comey's primetime interview has generated a lot of headlines today and a lot of tweets from the president. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here now. He has the latest on that. Again, the president spent part of Sunday firing off a string of tweets denouncing Comey, likely maximizing tune-in for Comey's turn on network TV last night. Kind of an odd decision, given the widespread impression that that interview didn't live up to its hype. Did you watch James Comey's interview? The president didn't answer, but his tweet this morning did the job, accusing Comey of malfeasance in office, lying to Congress, and committing, quote, many crimes. Was President Trump obstructing justice? Possibly. I mean, it's certainly some evidence of obstruction of justice. While Democrats generally praised Comey and seconded his criticisms of the president, it was clear they're still upset about the way he handled the Hillary Clinton email probe. She's going to be elected president, and if I hide this from the American people, she'll be illegitimate the moment she's elected. The FBI had two rules. Don't talk about a pending investigation. Don't put controversial material right before the public, right before the election. He did that with respect to Hillary Clinton. He didn't do it with respect to Trump. This guy went from being a public servant to a public relations spin artist. And while Trump loyalists went after Comey's motives... Jim Comey loves to be in the center of power. He loves to divert the spotlight to himself and be in the center of power. Other Republicans were noticeably reluctant to intervene. I, I'm not trying to be evasive, but what I don't want to do is, is, is join some food fight, some book-selling food fight. I don't see any value in that. Did you watch the interview, Mr. President? So despite mixed feelings across the political spectrum about Comey, the president is, for now, left to fight this battle largely alone. So what I wonder as I watch that interview and as I've watched reaction today is would it have been received any differently, his interview, if he wasn't also selling a book at the same time? You know, I don't really think so, uh, because really what Comey has to say, although his firing did trigger the appointment of the special counsel, right. so it's historically important, it's sort of old news. You know, now we're on to this fishing expedition into the Michael Cohen files that could potentially be much more important in the, in the grand scheme of things, Ken. So, I don't know, in, in the, the world we live in today with this administration, James Comey is rapidly becoming a footnote. Well put. John Keller, thanks. Appreciate it.